Hello, Internet family. I am out here today up at my grandpa's place up in Montana. Up at my family family's place. There's Blue. There's grandpa's house. There's the garage. There's Red. And there's Dexter and the old tractor. So, why am I up here today instead of out making money? Well, in just about 3,000 miles, this motor has gone through nine gallons of oil. It's blowing all the oil out of it. And, uh, I'll show you this here in a minute, but it's blowing oil all over the frame of the truck, screwing it all up. And so, I'm done with it. I quit. I've had enough of this truck. I just spent $42,200 doing this motor. I had everything from the radiator to the input shaft on the transmission new. Everything was done. Every single last piece of this. I went above and beyond. The turbo, intercooler, everything in there has been replaced. It should have been right. I should have been able to take this truck and go to work. And in the three months that I've had this thing back, I have only been able to make... I mean, when, when this was all said and done, it I, I came home with it, but when this was all said and done, the truck had just turned over 20,000 miles. It's got about 22,000 on it right now from coming back home from Texas empty. See, the thing is, my company wouldn't reload me. And the reason they wouldn't reload me is because the truck is spraying oil out of it, and that oil is winding up all over the trailer. And so I was told by the company that we need to get this fixed before they're going to put another load on me. So at that point, I decided I'm done with this truck. I am done. It's, I've had enough. It's, this will be the fifth time it's been in the shop now, just for the motor, that, not counting the rear ends. The rear ends is a totally separate deal. It's got a brand new set of rear ends in it too. For what I've done with this truck, I should be out making great money with it right now. Instead, you know, this is how I feel about this truck. I just, uh, I don't even want to look at it anymore. I don't want to have to deal with this thing anymore. And it just, it makes me sick just thinking about all that I've done to this thing, all that I've struggled. You see all the oil all over the bottom of the truck here. All over the mud flaps, all the inner fenders. And down this side of it, all that's covered in oil. The front of the tanks are covered in oil. Back of the frame, all that's covered in oil. I just, uh, I don't even want to look at it anymore. I don't want to have to deal with this thing anymore. And it just, it makes me sick just thinking about all that I've done to this thing, all that I've struggled for it. And so, it's time to find a new direction. And I think I know what that new direction is going to be. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'll keep you guys posted. So, we'll just have to see. But right now, I'm very frustrated. I'm very pissed off. I'm just standing here looking at this thing and just thinking about all I've had to endure to get this truck going and keep it going. And it's been a hell of a deal. And so, that being the case, I'm done. I quit. I'm over it. So, it's not, it's just not worth it to go trucking with this truck anymore. I can't keep it on the road, can't keep it running, can't make any money. And, I mean, right now, with uh, everything that's happened, this truck has quite literally run me out of money, bankrupted me. So, it's not the end of the world. I'm, I'm going to overcome this, but it's going to take a lot of work. And... The, the constant breakdowns and everything. You know, my, my payment on the truck and the trailer, about $5,000 a month. And that doesn't include the insurance. It doesn't include everything else. You know, this thing, this truck should have been good to go. That shouldn't have been a problem. I should have been out there running up and down the road. The freight's there. We got people calling us all the time for an 8-axle. But my 8-axle won't go to work. And right now, can't load it because, like I said, if we put something on the trailer, it's going to wind up covered in oil. And... The last go-around in Billings, I know I haven't updated you guys since then. The truck had gone 1,140 miles and used 5 gallons of oil in that 1,140 miles. And there was a real hard pull in there. I'm thinking that's where most of the oil went, you know, because it seems to be the harder you pull, the more, more boost you pull, the more oil it loses. So we've got that going on right now. And uh, that's where the first 5 gallons went, and then down to Texas and back it used another 4. So 
and it, it used a gallon of oil at 460 miles coming down through Wyoming loaded. So I'm uh, I'm really frustrated and just not happy with this thing. I mean, it it should be a good truck for all the money I've spent. And when I went to Billings the last time, uh, they couldn't find the problem. They couldn't find an obvious uh, place that the oil was going. Cat didn't want to open their wallet to pay for any more of it, so I want up having to pay. I had to pay $407 to get this truck out of the shop the last time it went in, knowing that it's messed up. And they said, well, we're just going to do an oil consumption analysis. By the time I got down to Texas, this thing had covered everything on the trailer in oil. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious where it's coming out. It's coming out the vent tube, and I've got... Some video of that that I'll have up later. I'm filming this on my phone. I'm going to edit it on my phone. I'm going to upload it. Um, I just, I don't know what the next step's going to be. We're just going to have to see here. I mean, it's, I don't even know at this point, I don't even know if I'm going to stay in trucking. I might just go out and try and find a job out in Seattle and go live and work off of the boat. And that's the other thing. My dream there is in trouble because... I was supposed to almost have this boat paid off by now. Well, this being the case, haven't been able to make those payments on the boat like I should have. And I've, I've made my monthly payments on it, but I was trying to have it paid off by now because that was our deal. First of November, the boat was supposed to be paid for, but because of this thing. And so I've got something I've been trying to do. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll see. It's going to require me borrowing some more money. And I don't know how all that's going to pan out. Which it really sucks because this truck has been the worst truck I have ever owned. And it's been hooked to the best trailer I've ever owned. It's been very frustrating for that. That Trail King trailer is an amazing, amazing trailer. I love pulling that trailer. But the uh, the truck, just not getting the job done. And the thing is, is right now, I'm pretty sure this thing needs another overhaul. It's, you know, made it 20,000 miles, got to be overhauled again. That's my opinion looking at the problem. I'm pretty sure it's going to have to have all new pistons and liners, probably bearings too. I'm guessing when the injector went down that it uh, messed up everything in there, probably wiped out the cylinder walls, scored the cylinders, and so that's probably what happened with the truck. And what that means is, is that it's going to have to get totally tore down and rebuilt again, and they'll probably have to put all new bearings, pistons, liners, everything in it, and that hopefully it doesn't need any machining. We don't know. So, not happy. Good, huh? Big silly turd. So, you guys know what's going on now. Yeah, fuel tank for red over here so I can get red going. But, yeah. Because <sighs> if I want to put red back to work, it's going to take a lot of money. And I can't pull my trailer with the red truck. So, we've got something that might come together here, might not. I don't know. It's very frustrating right now. It's very hard to deal with. And, you know, it's been just such a fight. It is such a fight, just been to keep going, have all this happen. And it's very frustrating. I've, I've put so much of my life into this truck and into making these things happen. And, you know, I know that my, my presence on YouTube has really suffered with all the stress from this just because being stressed out, I don't make very good video content. It's really hard to make good content when you're really stressed all the time and it just eats away at you and you just, at least it is for me. And I don't like to show that. I don't like to show the negativity. I like to show good things and uh, is, I don't like getting wrapped up in negativity. It's a trap. Hey buddy, what are you doing? You got your ball? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> what are you doing, Dexter? Huh, what are you doing? He's just been having a ball out here today, just running around. Played a bunch of ball with him today. And he's just having a good time. He really likes it out here. Been just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. and Got to spend some time with Grandpa. You know, that's what's important. Wish it was, you know, better day for that. But we'll see here, you know, next week. I'll get things going. I guess when you guys see this, it's going to be Monday. But next week, we'll see how everything goes here. Updates are going to be a little spotty as I figure everything out. But I will keep you guys posted. Um, 
yeah we'll catch you all later